Welcome to interfacing QTC++ to QML for advanced Qt developers. You probably check in this course because you already know quite a bit about Qt, C++, and Qt Quick, and you're looking to learn about the cool advanced features like custom C++ models in QML, custom C++ visual types in QML, and more. If that's the case, then this is the course for you. This course will hit four critical points in advanced tricks to interface your C++ to QML. We see how to build your custom C++ models in C++ and use them in QML. You'll learn how to build your own C++ visual types that you want to use in QML. We'll touch on how to use your C++ classes as singletons in QML. We're going to wrap up the course showing you how you can dig through the QML tree structure and manipulate your QML elements. Along the course, we're going to touch on lots of best practices to make your C++ and QML code and APIs much more readable, user-friendly, and maintainable. The course is packed with lots of examples and demos to make your learning experience as pleasant as possible. If you're looking to push your skills in interfacing QTC++ to QML to the next level, this course will get you up to speed in the shortest amount of time possible. Let's zoom in and take a look at what is covered in detail. We dive in the course, immediately showing you how you can expose your C++ classes and use them as singletons in QML. We move on and show you how to build your own C++ custom models and use them in QML, and we'll show you how you can make it much more usable and readable in QML, using features like list properties and more. Next, we're going to do a demo, allowing you to practice things we've seen so far. We're going to build a REST API client that is going to download data in C++, store the data in a custom C++ model, and expose that to be consumed in Qt Quick. We're going to move on and show you how you can build your own custom C++ visual types and expose them to be used in QML. And we're going to wrap up the course showing you how you can dig through the QML tree structure from C++. This is going to allow you to do things like reading properties, writing properties, and even calling methods on your QML elements from C++. Qt is the platform of choice for thousands of software projects, both open source and commercial, including the one I'm using to record this video right now. If you want to build fluid, dynamic, and cross-platform user interfaces that can run on virtually anything out there and take advantage of the powerful features like the model view framework, and the fancy Qt painting and drawing APIs, Qt is second to none in that regard. Please check out some of the preview videos and let's get you started using advanced tricks in connecting your C++ to QML.